What would you say these findings mean for healthcare providers? Um, you know, I think, uh, uh, first of all, the, uh, um, we know that sleep apnea is very prevalent in people with diabetes. Um, is anywhere between 50 to 80%, depending upon the uh, body mass index. And American Diabetes Association suggests that uh, we should be vigilant in screening these people for, um, for sleep apnea, especially the ones that have symptoms like daytime sleepiness or um, women sometimes have atypical symptoms like morning headaches, things like that, or fatigue. Uh, and if they have that, um, you know, we should, we should try to encourage them to um, to continue with the with the treatment, um, you know, it has been shown uh, to um, improve quality of life, um, you know, reduce some uh, symptoms with daytime. So, um, yeah, I think I think the physician would, um, if, 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 if I know sleep is another dimension, would be would endocrinologists talk about blood sugar? You know, we may not get to sleep, but kind of keep that in the back of your mind that. Uh, is another uh, contributing factor, and then if uh, you know the people have uh, sleep apnea, um, encourage them to seek help, uh, you know, with, with the sleep doctor. Continue to use the device, uh, continue to follow up. Uh, yeah.